السلام عليكم طلاب اليوم محاضرتنا سال انجري ذا سبجكت از ذا فيرست سبجكت ان ان ذا سيريز اوف ليكشرز ان باثولوجي ذا ساينس اوف باثولوجي ان جنرال از ديلينج وذ ديفرنت باثولوجيكال كونديشن ديزيز كونديشن كان افكت ذا بودي اول باثولوجيكال كونديشنز Uh, yeah, start to appear after uh, cell, cells in the body are injured. Uh, in general, the subject of cell injury uh, can be subdivided into two conditions, uh, either reversible or irreversible cell injury. Um, usually cells can preserve themselves, uh, can preserve the uh, intracellular condition uh, with within a very strict uh, uh, equilibrium, uh, this uh, means that the cell can uh, maintain its physiologic conditions, its physiologic functions, intracellular functions, activities uh, uh, in equilibrium with the environment. Uh, sometimes, when injury happens, cells can uh, express uh, injurious stimuli, can, can uh, adapt themselves to injurious stimuli and will uh, uh, continue surviving a new condition of equilibrium. Uh, this is known as cell adaptability. In general, uh, we can subdivide, we can uh, classify uh, cell death uh, occurring within a living organism, within a living body, into two conditions, either necrosis or apoptosis. Necrosis means uh, cell death occurring in, inside a living organism, in, inside a living subject, due to uh, the effect of noxious substances exerted on the cell. Um, this uh, type of cell death happens due to uh, external stimuli. The second type of cell death is apoptosis. This type of cell death is known as, in general, we can describe this type of cell death in, uh, as a programmed, uh, uh, programmed cell death. Uh, this condition is characterized by that it can happen during physiologic conditions as well as pathologic conditions. يعني مو بس تصير بال بال disease state لا تصير وين تصير حتى بال بال physiologic conditions during for example during development during development of the embryo and during for example deletion of autoreactive T lymphocytes that happen in in the thymus. This is essential in the immune system to prevent autoimmunity. Uh, this type of death, apoptosis, is uh, happening uh, inside the body uh, without, without being noticed even, and uh, sometimes it happens in diseased states, resulting in pathological conditions. So in general, we can classify cell death inside the body into either necrosis this type of cell death is uh, ha or happens due to noxious substances due to uh, any uh, uh, stimulus that uh, stimulates the cell to die uh, external stimulus uh, the second condition is apoptosis which is a programmed cell uh, there is another important subject, which is uh, you have to uh, use this subject, you have to remember this subject uh, strictly. This uh, includes the um, causes of cell injury. We can classify the causes of cell injury into eight classes, into eight causes. The first and the most common type, uh, the first and the most common cause of cell injury is a hypoxia. Hypoxia 
refers to reduction in oxygen tension, redu reduction in oxygen supply to the cell. Uh, this can happen due to many causes. Um, when there is obstruction of, uh, uh, of blood supply to a certain area in the body, this results in uh, hypoxia, results in reduction of, uh, of oxygen supply to that part, and this will result in cylinder. And sometimes hypoxia can result due to, not only due to uh, reduction of oxygen, uh, reduction of, of uh, uh, blood supply to, that, to a certain part of the body, but it can happen due to reduction of oxygen tension in the blood in general. Uh, due to uh, uh, inadequate oxygenation of the blood. Uh, this type of, uh, of cell injury is the most widely studied type of cell injury. يعني هذا أكثر واحد على الأطلاق هو الهايبوكسي يعني the cause of cell injury أكثر واحد على الأطلاق تم دراسته بالتفصيل ورح نحشي عليه بعدين بال, بال section الجاي uh, mechanisms of cell injury uh, using this type of uh, cell injury as a model for studying uh, the internal uh, changes inside the cytoplasm, inside the nucleus, and inside uh, cytoplasmic organelles. Uh, yeah. The second cause of cell injury is physical agents. Including trauma, trauma not to be a uh, external trauma resulting, for example, in uh, skin breaches, uh, fractures, any kind of trauma could could result in cell injury. Extremes of temperature, يعني زيادة ال ال الحرارة أو نقصان بالحرارة, radiation, electric shock, sudden changes in, in atmospheric pressure. All these are physical agents resulting in cell injury, resulting in changes that result in cell injury uh, uh, inside the body. The third cause of cell injury is chemicals and drugs. This includes any chemical agent uh, that may result in cell injury by altering the membrane permeability, osmotic homeostasis, or the integrity of the enzyme cofactor. The fourth cause is the microbiologic agents, and this includes a very wide range of uh, microbiologic organisms that could infect the body, including uh, tiny organisms known as viruses, very tiny organisms. These organisms are, are, uh, will never be captured by uh, light microscope even uh, they have to be uh, uh, magnified very uh, using very uh, large magnification power uh, under electron microscope to be uh, seen uh, through bacteria we have uh, bacteria that could result in, in pathological conditions and in, in disease state we have parasites and some parasites are very large, for example, the tapeworm. تعرفوا هدود الشريطية اللي هي ممكن تصيب الإنسان وسوين أمراض يعني متعددة نتيجة إصابته. The fifth class, the fifth cause of uh, cell injury is immunologic reactions. Immunologic reactions. Sometimes the body can, uh, يعني can generate an immune response that results in adverse reaction, adverse effect. As you know, the immune system is designed to defend the body against invasion of microorganisms and against the development of foreign bodies, foreign cells inside the body. Uh, foreign cells uh, tumor cells. Uh, tumor cells are usually recognized by the immune system and immediately removed by the immune system uh, getting rid from these foreign cells. 